WWE right at the end of the Attitude Era to be able to, if I didn't go there during the Attitude Era, I don't think the right to censor would have been born at all. I think you're absolutely right. And like, because it, it all came off the backs of the, the PTC, right? The Parents Television Council. Yeah, they were, and we were losing advertisers. So that was really hurting the money. So Vince, to his credit, man, that, that thing he came up with, Vince will, Vince will do a little revenge gimmick on you. <laughs> He'll get petty. And that's what the uh, right to censor was. What was your reaction when they played the right to censor theme song for you for the first time? Were you like this? That's it? No, I was I was just happy to have something. And and when I heard that music, it's funny. I and, and I, we talked about it on the first interview. Yeah, it's also very had, kind for you to call it music. When I when I had well, it, it, it could be on the. I was going to say it's never going to make the volume whatever on the <laughs> music. I stopped myself, but. Uh, but when I look at that, like I knew it was an opportunity. I knew I was on TV as a character. And I had for even if it sucked, I had custom entrance music. I had the the the, the Titan Tron. And and looking at that, Chris, that made me think back to Raven when I was putting on the half shirt and the Daisy Dukes, telling me you're gonna stand out. You're completely different. Nobody will ever take your gimmick from you because. Everybody wants to be a tough, be a shooter, be a badass. He goes, you will corner the market on a specific type of heel. That's the voice that I heard in my mind when that music hit. I was mm. like, people are going to hate this so much. This is awesome. And they do. I mean, they, no one's listening to that song when, to, when they're at the gym or something like that. <laughs> Imagine? Maybe if you want to give yourself a headache and do some ring <laughs> job work. They did cheer Ivory when she came out for the Rumble, and I was happy to see Ivory in that Rumble not too long ago. I thought that was, like, Ivory has done a lot in her career, but for them to decide that she would come out in the right to censor gimmick, I thought that was a really interesting choice and also showed how over that was. I agree with that. And also the fact that Ivory was so over as the female in the group. She yes. was way more special than us. As a matter of fact, I would have been all for Ivy, Ivory being the next leader to replace me because that's even more heat. At the time, you're looking at a woman bossing these big guys around and a woman, she would have been the original Karen, if you think about it. That's true. Yeah. People still cosplay as the right to censor. Like I always see them at conventions <laughs> or shows all the time. Sometimes I do for the right amount of money on an indie show too. <laughs> We actually have one thing, if you check it out, Anthony Green, who's a great young talent, he had the Green World Order. So he would parody different talents. And we had an idea where I'll come out as right to censor. I'll shut the show down, do all this stuff. And he'll pull a Snickers out of his fanny pack. I eat the Snickers and go, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> I'm in the back, come out with the BWO gear. That's and we have a match. The funny side note on that, a fun fact, and I have a picture up on Instagram. This is probably a lesson for any wrestler out there. When you meet a young fan, he was like, Hey man, you didn't know it. He told me this after we worked, he said, you don't know this, but I met you a long time ago when I was a little kid. He showed me a picture that he had with me and him. They must've came in the locker room, took pictures with all the guys. He took a picture with me. Then we took a picture post-match with our arms around each other and I split screened it. So like you talk about coming full circle and how right. now I'm glad he didn't tell me, you know why I would have been more nervous than him. Cause I was like, Oh my God, I hope I can do good. This guy grew up, he's like a fan. And now he's getting to wrestle me. That's a lot of pressure. Yeah. You got to live up to those expectations. That's and what give I yourself some credit too. Oh, here we go.